Now the first step is to verify the game file. So make a right click on the game, go to properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working, enable the Steam overlay. Now for this, you can go to Steam and then click on settings over here and then go to in-game option. If enable the Steam overlay while in game, if this is off, turn it on and then make a right click on the game, go to properties. If enable the Steam overlay while in game is off, turn it on and then check. If that does not work, you can even turn it off. So try both enable and disable. For many users, enabling the Steam overlay has worked. So you can try this. If that if that does not work, you can disable it and then check. Now the next step is to enable Steam Cloud. Disable the Steam Cloud. Now for this, again make a right click on the game, select properties, and then go to general tab over here you can see if steam cloud is enabled you can disable it and then launch the game once the game is up and running now you can enable the steam cloud and then you can check still not working switch to window mode uh, now when you launch the game uh, press alt plus enter which will switch the game to window mode if that does not work you can set window mode to zero uh, for this you can open file explorer Go to this PC, open C drive, now open users folder, now open your username folder, now open app data. If you don't see app data at the top, click on view, select show, put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder, local folder. Now find Bandai Namco Entertainment, open this folder, open this for game folder, save folder, save games, open this folder. Here you can see settings data, make a double click. Open settings data. Now over here you can see window mode. You can set the value to zero and then go to file, click on save. Now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to uninstall beta version of game. So before installing this game, if you had the beta version, you can uninstall the beta version and then you can check. Next step is to rename or delete the settings data file. Now for this again, open file explorer, go to this PC. C drive, users, username, app data, local, open this folder, but, uh, open this folder. And here you can see settings data. All the saved settings will be lost when you rename this folder. So you can rename it. Now relaunch the game and then check. If that does not work, rename the save game files. Before you rename the save game files, let me inform you you will lose all the save game progress. You have to start everything from scratch. So create a backup first. So go to this location and go to this location and then you can just copy this folder and create a backup. Once you have a backup created, now you can rename this. You have to start everything from scratch. Now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel and then go to hardware and sound and then go to power options now over here if you see power saver option you can select power saver and then check in my case I have only balanced but if you see power saver select power saver relaunch the game if that does not work you can even switch to balance and then check Next step is to turn on or turn off hardware accelerated GPU scheduling for this open Windows settings and then go to system, go to display, scroll down and then go to graphics option. Over, click on advanced graphics option over here and if hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, if this is off, turn it on and then you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. If this is already on, you can turn it off and then check. Now, the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any antivirus program like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. Now, if you're using Windows security, then open Windows settings and then go to privacy and security over here and then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it and then click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow, click on add and allow app, click on browser apps. Now go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder. 
select the game exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings click on it change settings over here allow another app click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open and then click on add over here in my case the game is already added once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now for this make our active on the game manage browse local files and then make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click go to properties go to this tab go to this tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game still not working go to properties once again in this time you can select windows 8 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game still not working you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok you can even try disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok follow the next step next step is to try dx11 or dx12 in the launch option so go to properties in the launch option type in dash dx11 and then you can launch the game and then check still not working go to properties this time you can type in dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this for the next step now the next step is to run this command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make our active on command prompt app make sure that you run this as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow copy all these commands one by one all the commands are provided in the video description paste it over here hit the enter key now copy the second command paste it over here hit the enter key again paste it hit the enter key paste it hit the enter key now once done restart and after the system restart you can check still not working next step is to install visual c++ file so in google search you can type in install visual c++ file over here and then you can go to microsoft website and here you can see visual studio files you have to download this x86 and x64 run this exe file if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes to allow download this x64 file as well click on it again run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once both are installed now restart you can do it and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to perform clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website select your graphic card your operating system click on start search and install the latest graphic card driver geforce game read driver whichever is the latest click on get download and then click on download now and then run the exe file now once installed uh, you can run the exe file you will see the screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation after the clean installation restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to laptop users with dual graphic card run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings over here and then click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added over here click on the game and then select high performance over here you will see your graphic card over here and then you can check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version now for this open windows update or or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10 percent and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios 
after the BIOS update, check. Still not working. Unplug all the external devices from the computer. So if you have VOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected to the computer, disconnect it. Disconnect extra controller connected to the computer. If you have multiple monitor setup, try launching the game on single monitor. Disable Steam overlay, uh, which we have already done. So you can enable the Steam overlay and then check. Close other overlay application like Discord, Nvidia app, and then check. Do not overclock if you have overclock. If you have overclocked your computer, set it to default. Close all the overclocking applications like MSI Afterburner, Reward Tuner. If you have any third-party application or services running, close it. Remove the undervolt if you have undervolted your computer. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, make a right click on the game, select Manage, click on Uninstall. After the uninstall, uh, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, Try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.